guys and welcome to this week's bait demo and today on the cutting board we've got a yellowtail head bait a castable yellowtail head bait specifically for grinder fishing or even if you want to use a multiplier but to be able to make a nice big bait that will still cast well with a yellowtail head now to start off I'm using a full metal jacket trace this is 175 pounds, you can make it 200 pounds, you can do what you want with it um, and make it that size. I've got a ring soy tenno, jayuk, and on top of that, or just above that, I've got the tuna circle, the mustard tuna circle hooks. Alright, you can make this a bit longer, you can use a bigger trace. I've actually got an example here of the hooks I normally use for bigger baits, and that's the mustard uh, catfish, tenno and bigger. In fact, for this particular bait, I might even hook it onto this to show you guys. But first, let's make the bait. <coughs> what you're going to need is pliers, your cotton, your knife, chocker hammer, and American fishing wire, the number 15 or 14, to make a dangle. All right, and we'll get to that. We'll get to the dangle part at the end, just to show you how to put this bait onto a hook. All right, so let's start off just by cutting your yellow tail. <coughs> all right so you're going to choose the part you want to use is where all the juices and the main part sit this is obviously frozen these are the nice bait size uh, yellow tail we get from adcan marine all right now most importantly guys there's a lot of almost useless sections on a head that takes a lot of space, making it less aerodynamic with very little smell. So your main part, as you can see, is that, where all the blood and the guts are. Now you want to trim this, and that's what we're going to cover today. You want to trim this to a shape that will cast well and is manageable and get the most smell out of it. And obviously, the most weight for the smallest bait that will give you the best casting. I'm going to pick up my cotton. Alright, so we'll leave that piece there for now and we'll start trimming the head. Just making it more aerodynamic. This whole section here is pretty much useless. Get through that. Tough piece though. The jaws. That piece. Get it from the other side through these gill plates. Now I'm cutting off all these gill plates and all the parts that just makes it bulky without adding smell now already the smells coming out you can see the the flies being attracted <laughs> see those gill plates opening up exposing the gills more smell There's a lot of bony parts here you can cut off, get through to shape this into a better, more aerodynamic bait. Okay, now this is, you can see it guys, this is what's going to make the difference in uh, getting a fish onto it, getting the smell out. Alright, I'm just going to discard this. This you can chuck in the water, we'll get some smaller fish excited, maybe get the smell out as well. But that's now a nice base to start off with. Now the rest of your yellow tail, depending which part you want to use, I'm going to use the back part. You see this starts working better the more it gets 
bit defrosted and you'll start cutting cutlets off here now you can use mackerel cutlets you can use anything in this case it's a pure yellow tail bait That should be enough to start off with. All right, now that's why I've got the chocker hammer. Now they're still a bit frozen, but you can just make them nice and softer with the chocker hammer. And now let's start off. All right. So you're going to start adding this building a nice well presented bait secure that and i'm using the latex cotton Now what this does, it adds more weight to a smaller bait and in essence what it's going to do is going to allow you to cast much further than just hooking a yellow tail head or trying to rig a yellow tail head on a trace and casting that out. And you'll have more smell in this than just the head, just using the head. Use your hand always to shape. Now a bait like this uh, requires a lot of cotton to keep it nice and firm. And as it starts defrosting, it pulls it in nicely, keeps it all together, keeps your shape. Now I've had this question actually on the channel. Can you pre-make your baits, freeze them and go? This one you can. I'll show you uh, when, we, when we do the dangle now. You put the dangle in, you freeze them again in a little bag and you take five of them or maybe have 10 of them in the freezer, take two of them with to the beach and it reduces the time you spend on the beach tying baits for bigger fish because the, the bigger baits does they do take some time with the amount of cotton you're going to put on but i'm going to add a small strip here because i don't like that doesn't look nice and that's what's nice about this doing this it's all layered you keep just keep on adding pieces of fish. Add it there, squash it in, let it melt, and there. Really makes it much nicer. You tie that on. But you can just keep on adding cutlets, adding fillets to get the exact shape you require and you want to be obviously the whole purpose is to be aerodynamic and cast this because now you'll feel the weight difference if you hold a whole yellow tail head in my one hand and I hold this you could feel this is smaller better shape and heavier than what a whole head would be head would be bulky and much lighter and not great for casting now I'm just going to show you guys how to make the dangle to rig this up okay you'll need your pliers and you'll need number 1415 American fishing wire and you'll need sharpness pliers which I add somewhere here we go 
just get that short, sorted on. Long enough piece to work with. Now, this is quite important, which works for me. I've been using it for a couple of years and it really works. You make, obviously, where you keep your, your pliers, make sure it's big enough that the bulb of your hook will go through there. Otherwise, just move a bit up so it will be big enough when you turn this. All right. Now this you'll just twist. A couple of times to make it strong enough. Then you'll see I keep a long tag end here and there's a specific reason for that. Now that we take, we bend it up. And that creates a bar for my bait, not to slide off. That will hold the bait. So I'll stick it in, cut it long enough. And you can pre-make these dangles as well in your bag and have them exactly like this. So what you're gonna do, on the hook side, we'll have the big, the pointy side going away from the hook. And that's to make it obviously more aerodynamic. And now the difficult part is just to work this through to, so you get it where you want it. That can sometimes take some time. There's still bony parts in the head. There we go. Lucky break. And then I'll push it down till the barb section reaches there. And then you'll stick that in as deep as what you can. And remember, you must stick it in, stick it in a bit deeper, so that that bulb, when it pulls up, can get stuck nicely. It's hit a bone somewhere. Okay. It's nice and stuck. And now you'll just make a clip for your sinker, which normally spin it as high up into the bait to hold it as well make a 90 degree little little loop there and then you bend it straight and from there we'll make the loop for the sinker the hook clip that off you And there you go. So you've got a place to hook your sinker. It's holding nice and firm with uh, the bulb you've put into the steel. And there's the whole bait. Now you can freeze it like this. But just to show you. Trace I'm using. Put the circle hook through the top. And this hook I'll stick in here. This is a backup. You can only, you, you have, you know, you, if you just want to use a circle look, that's up to you. And there we go. That's the bait. You can even make this longer so that it sits a bit further down, depending on the size of your bait. And that's all what you decide at the end of the day. But that's a nice, nice streamline, big, Yellowtail head bait you can cast for. Very important. If you just hook the head, you're not going to get the distance that you would with this. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining. And I hope you catch some big fish on this. One.